Good morning. Sunday morning. Happy Sunday. Welcome to Z Education and welcome to another episode of You Laugh, You Lose. And happy 2022. If you are new to this channel and new to this series this year, the game on Sunday is very, very simple. If you laugh at anything in today's video, you lose and you have to do a punishment. What is today's punishment? Well, today we're going to start the year off right, okay? If you laugh, you lose, and you have to get rid of your smartphone. I'm making a New Year's resolution for you, okay? You're going to go back to a flip phone, no GPS, just pretty much texting. You have to click the seven four times to get the S. That's your punishment today. So if you laugh, you lose, you have to do that. Also, before we start today's game, if you didn't get what you wanted for Christmas, you're starting to return some stuff, Head over to tylerz.com where we now have sweatshirts available, hats, t-shirts, all that kind of stuff. We have exactly what you wanted for Christmas. So head over there after this video, but first we have to play today's game. You accept the terms of today's game, you laugh, you lose, you get rid of your smartphone, head down and like this video. And if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's game. If you laugh, you lose, <clears throat> if you laugh, you lose, go. Your fitness goals, the holiday <laughs> leftovers. Ah, oh, this poor little kid became a meme. Um, it's true though. There's lots of leftovers, a lot of sweets, pies, candies, you know. Uh, so you either got to throw that stuff away or throw away your fitness goals. This is part of it. Your diet is like 95% of getting in shape. It really is. Before you call it a conspiracy theory, just hear me out. Because I thought we retired this meme. I think we've had this a couple times. Um, I don't want to start these rumors up again, okay? But the resemblance is striking. Someone needs to investigate this. Nancy, what's going on here? Astrology class. Um, I really hope that this isn't a real class. If it is... Uh, you're wasting your money. Just go to the newspapers. Don't they publish that stuff in there? Even though it's all BS. Don't kill me for that. Don't kill me for that. Anyone that loves astrology. Microwaves have like 32 buttons, but you only need about four, including number buttons. Look me in the eye and tell me you use the seven key. Hmm. There's a point here. It, this is... I don't know if I've ever touched that seven key on the microwave. This is uh, this is pretty eye-opening here. Jesse, I wasn't that drunk. You were flirting with your own girlfriend. So, you asked her if she was single, and she said yes. <sighs> yeah. mm, that's what happens. Stop drinking. That should be your New Year's resolution. You, curly fries. Me, an intellectual. Rotatoes. Dude, how the hell have we been calling them curly fries this whole time and not rotatoes? That makes way more sense. I'm going to start calling them rotatoes. My kid asked if that lady is tiny. Wheel of Fortune, uh, you guys are you're messing with the kids. You are. Look at this. This really does look like a tiny lady. We're giving our kids mental health problems because of this. Zed claims to have matured. Also, Zed laughs at bathroom humor. Me, liar. You guys, it's 2022 and bathroom humor. What are you? Are you like super mature? You're going to say bathroom humor, not fart jokes? Come on. But fart jokes are not funny. We know this. Spice up any Facebook comment with random quotation marks. Congrats on your baby. Congrats on your baby. Congrats on your baby. <laughs> Great bit, by the way. The best of Chris Farley. If you have not seen that sketch, that's funny. Try this out, though. I, I highly recommend you don't be, even be on Facebook anymore. Delete that crap. But uh, try this. See what happens. Damn. F Donald Trump. F Donald J. Trump. Trump can go F himself. If you are the kind of person who tells the President of the United States to go F himself after he just took time to wish your kid a Merry Christmas, you really are exactly the kind of deranged loser everyone says you are. <laughs> Self-awareness, zero. Oh, this is why Twitter is 
so entertaining. I love it because it's it's free and you get to see stuff like this all the time. It's amazing. It's so amazing. 14 years ago today, we learned how to make the perfect gift in just three easy steps. All right, that's crossing the line. And if you don't know what this is, good. Move on to the next meme. Uh, if you know what this is, you can uh, you can share my disgust. Stop sending us this sh <laughs> hug hees. I've not seen that Michael Jackson meme yet. Uh, that is fantastic. Keep up with the Michael Jackson memes. Although this one's a little bit weird, considering his uh, you know his actions. He's 104 years old. What's your excuse? He had more time to train. He's got a points. You know, 104 years. He's pretty much got more time to train than everyone, really. There's a brief time in the early 90s where you could pull up to someone at a red light and ask for mustard. <laughs> what a bizarre commercial, by the way. You have any gray poupon? Uh, I only know that because of uh, Dumb and Dumber. Scientists find 33 creatures living in a cave that was sealed off for 5 million years. Seal that cave back up and walk away. This is not the year, man. <laughs> Guys, screw it. We've already been through a couple crazy years, right? Let's just let's just throw it all at the wall. Unseal the caves. Get the giant magnet out. Start trying to get those asteroids to come to Earth. Like, dude, let's just throw it all out there. Who cares, right? Who cares? And while the cave is opening and, and things are, you know, becoming more chaotic, keep making the memes. We know that. Donald Trump and his administration have no idea what hardworking, decent, ordinary Americans are going through. They don't understand the middle class. I do. President Biden's economic ratings are worse than Jimmy Carter's. <laughs> it's like watching that Zeppelin, you know, crash in flames. It, it's amazing. False promises. False, it, all the time, every day, something else from his campaign is just ridiculous. I mean, we knew at the time that he was full of it. He's a career politician, right? But uh, it's just a beautiful train wreck. You love to see it. YouTube in 2010. Our platform is for all types of content, no matter what it is. YouTube in 2020. Hmm. We should terminate someone's channel for swearing once. YouTube in 2021. We have removed the dislike button in your interest because we don't care about your opinions. Good luck with the tutorial videos. Goodbye. I just had this conversation not too long ago. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous to see where YouTube is going in the future because there is a clear increase in censorship. We, I mean, that's like indisputable. And the dislike button, hilarious move by them. But we'll see what happens. I don't know. Hold socially distance interview. Hugs immediately after interview. Makes sense. Mm. Round of applause for that one. Only in clown world. Um, I don't blame these two. This is probably coming from whoever's the head at ESPN, whatever channel this was on. The NFL broadcasters, you know, make sure on the cameras, you guys are distance. Once the cameras turn off, it doesn't matter anymore. Example. I mean, this is the last two years in a nutshell. No crime, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Criminals. Oh, shucks. <laughs> yeah, the, um, this is what laws do. Laws, this is how criminals react to laws. It's, this is, a, you know, share this meme. Die Hard isn't a Christmas movie because it occurs on Christmas. It's a Christmas movie because it's about a social obligation with a family member that you didn't want to participate in, but spirals more and more into an unending nightmare. <laughs> Uh, luckily, I like my family, uh, so I don't know this, but do you have this problem? You know, your cousin that you see the one time a year, uh, is this the situation? Can you set the table, please? Uh, yeah, a lot of people are doing this. I, I know a lot of people that used uh, this the last two years as an excuse to get out of stuff. They used, uh, oh, I might have it. I don't know. I don't know. I can't come now. So... I don't know how long they're going to be able to keep using that excuse, but we'll see. The giant Amazon leech is the second biggest leech in the world after Congress. Oh my... Dude! That thing is disgusting. Like, what is this person doing, even doing this for an educational purpose picture? Dude, get that off your arm. 
Ugh, that's disgusting. Fact check true, though, yeah. Congress is the biggest leech. Teachers, you gotta study and work hard to succeed and laugh. Eight-year-old TikTokers. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, the traditional education. There is something to working hard and uh, succeeding. You know, the correlation. There is obviously something there. No question about that. But the way, the path to go about success, it's not always what your teachers say it is. One day, I'm going to write a book about a recipe blogger that confesses to murder in every single recipe on their website, but they never get caught because no one reads the 12 pages of text before the recipe. Thank you. That's a genius idea, by the way. If you want to write this murder novel, that's kind of a good idea. Because it's true. Nobody cares about your story on your blog. I'm sorry. It is. I just want to know how long I'm supposed to bake the chicken in the oven and at what temp. That's it. That's all I want. I don't care about anything else. I don't care about where the recipe came from. I don't. Put all the vital information at the top. And then if you do that, if you're courteous, I might read it. There's like a 2% chance probably. And it better be good. So uh, yes, I think this is a great idea. You should write this book. The perfect tattoo to cover up a birthmark doesn't exist. Bathroom humor? Ba really? Bathroom humor? Wow. Wow, that is disgusting. Don't laugh at that. If you do, you're immature. You have to throw your iPhone away. That's disgusting. Wow. And you put that on your body forever? It's not funny. 90s. Don't sit too close to the TV. 2021. Yeah, it's weird how that evolved. I remember, uh, yeah, don't sit too close to the TV. Other, otherwise, your eyes are going to go across, stuff like that. You're going to go blind. They lied to us. They've been lying to us for decades. Can't have shit in Detroit. <laughs> this is sad because it's probably true. Uh, <laughs> freaking thing out of, on blocks. Mm. <laughs> wow. There is hope for the planets. Short side. Long side. I love this idea. I really do. Is this becoming a thing in the sheet manufacturers? I hope it is. So there is hope, guys. There's hope for humanity. For Santa to deliver gifts to all world's Christians in one night requires hypersonic speeds through Earth's low atmosphere, vaporizing his reindeer and sleigh. Just saying. Neil deGrasse Tyson, I don't know what's wrong with you. Uh, I don't know what the point of your tweet is. Obviously, he has out-of-this-world technology. What do you, you not know this? You're a scientist. For real, though, what a jerk, man. What are, you, what are you doing? If only the World War I generation were around to laugh at us. <sighs> yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Those are life-threatening right there. They would be laughing at us, I'm pretty sure. They, I mean, why does my roommate have a Dwight Schrute shrine? Hmm. That's a little bit weird of your roommate to do. I'm not surprised, though, because if you know anyone that watches The Office, I've never seen the type of fandom for a show that I do with The Office. It's insane. People are nuts over that show. And I've seen a couple episodes. It's pretty good. But this is the level of cultism. Cult classic series on that show. It's nuts. Elon Musk going to Mars. Mark Zuckerberg going to Earth. <laughs> Wait, what's what's the implication here? Is Elon an alien too? Is that what we're saying? Or is Elon a human leaving Earth as the alien is coming to, to Earth? I don't know. We know for a fact that Mark Zuckerberg is out of this world. Really glad I started meal prepping. It really changed my life. Um... It could, but uh, you might have cholesterol issues, some high blood pressure. I don't know what job you're at. They let you drink that on the on the job? Little curs? Little curs at lunch? Come on, man. The perfect store doesn't exist. <laughs> Donuts and guns. That is fantastic. I will say it would be more perfect if there were fishing stuff in there, too. There's got to be fishing stuff with the donuts and the guns, and then it would be perfect. Types of headaches. Migraines, hypertension, stress, living next to China. Dude, Taiwan. They joined 
the Ukraine train. U Ukraine posted this meme about Russia, living next to Russia, and then Taiwan comes and uh, posts about China. And I don't know if I should respect this or call this reckless because both of those places, Taiwan and Ukraine, are on the verge of being invaded by Russia and China. So, and then they're here trolling with memes. I, I mean, I respect that. I love that. I don't know, though. It might, you're poking the bear. But maybe that's the point. Maybe they want that. NFTs be like... Oh, sadly, I'm sure that's an NFT somewhere, but... Uh, yeah, I love crypto. I love blockchain technology. I, I just haven't been able to get on the NFT train completely. You know, I, I just, I don't know. You may not like it, but this is the optimal male living space. I have questions. The TV's fine. I, that's, it's, it'll, it'll do. The TV will do. Why do you have a knife? Why do you have a butcher knife there? That is a little weird. And why do you have a piano, like a mini piano? This will this will get most males by. This will this is all you need really. But I don't, not quite sure what the knife is for, honestly. Oh, there's a, I see the gun there too. That's that's what I was gonna say. You need a gun too, but there is a gun. Humans a hundred thousand years ago. Me hungry. Me hunt mammoth. Humans today. Why food delivery slow? Seriously, if we had any sort of crazy stuff happen, society crumbling events, lots of people would be screwed. They would be. Two Brazilian politicians settled a dispute over a water park conservation project by fighting each other in a three-round MMA fights. This is such an amazing idea. This is amazing. This should be a thing in a lot of places. Can we bring this to Washington, D.C.? Oh, there's a dispute. Okay. MMA ring. How you get entertainment. You create some revenue by people that are willing to pay that money to watch it. Uh, and then you solve disputes, right? It's it's perfect. Imagine you live here and you come home drunk. Okay, imagine living there not drunk. How boring. What is this, a Chinese Uyghur internment camp? I mean, that's what it looks like. My wifey coming home to water already ran for her. I chose violence. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, dude, you're sleeping on the couch. You're risking your marriage there. Mm, mm -mm, I don't recommend that. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Team Daly. John Daly. Did never change, John Daly. I don't care, you know, your choices are your choices. You can do whatever you want. You do you, bro. And I think him and his son, they won. They beat the Woods team. So, that, that, peak performance. If you wear cowboy clothes... Are you ranch dressing? No, no, that's dumb. My parents are taking the news of my career change well, lol. A hand model for bourbon? Are you insane? It's 100k a year, lol. I would like to apologize for my earlier comments. <laughs> Money talks, right? I mean, it doesn't matter what you're doing, I guess. If you say how much you make to some people, they don't care what you're doing. It's kind of weird. No one will listen to White Snake with me. So here I go again on my own. Going down the only road I've ever known. Nice joke. Great one. Great song, though, by the way. I'll listen to some White Snake with you. You can't be broke if you don't check your bank account. Yeah, I don't know if that one, uh, don't know if that works. But, uh, you can try it, but their debt collectors are going to come knocking. Do not use this pump. Milk has been coming out of it. The hell? The hell kind of gas station is this? I don't know who needs to hear this, but stop trying to track that package. It's in God's hands now. Just don't even bother, man. Especially around the holidays. Like, don't even check that tracking. No matter how cold it gets, there's always this person. There's always this person. It's the worst kind of person. I don't get cold. Yes, you do. You just like the attention of wearing the shorts in the winter. You do get cold. Okay, stop walking to school in shorts. Diner disgusted after finding a full chicken head in her box of KFC hot wings. What? Dude. KFC, I got a resolution for you. New Year's resolution. Stop putting 
chicken heads in the boxes. What the hell? In the 1990s, a California man, Steve Komisar, began putting ads in national magazines selling solar-powered dryers for $49.95. Customers would then receive a simple clothesline in the mail. Now, I feel like I've heard this story, and I want to say that guy went to jail for this. But did he lie? I mean, you could say part of that drying comes from the wind, so maybe it's not a full solar power dryer, but I don't know if you can fault him here. 1987 Millionaire's Office. 2021 Millionaire's Office. <laughs> uh, and soon the homeless people are going to be millionaires once inflation just keeps going and going and going. Being a millionaire is going to be a thing. It's going to be a normal thing. Flying trains could be coming your way. So a plane? Yeah, what the hell? Flying trains? That's that's a different name for a plane. What the hell, Bloomberg? That can't be real. That cannot be real. People say they grow up to be Squidward, but in reality, they grow up to be Patrick. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, we have an obesity problem in this country, in this world, really. Should I take my dog to the vet? I would. Mm. Oh, dude. Some dumb jokes today, but this might win. I think that's a winner. I'm crowning it. That's the winner of dumb joke of the day. Matt really outdid himself at the office Christmas party this year. Matt's Midwest Sushi. Chicken Franks in a honey and cornmeal tempura. Garnished with organic tomato reduction and mustard vinegar aioli. This is what I think of whenever I see these words on recipes or uh, at a restaurant. It's like, okay, what is it really? It's corn dogs with ketchup and mustard, but you can make anything sound amazing. You can make it sound expensive. Uh, it's marketing 101. This is why people buy fat-free, sugar-free. I mean, it's... But when you get down to it, you look into it, it's not exactly what you think it is when you hear those words. SNL hasn't been funny since... The 90s, Adam Sandler, uh, Chris Farley going into Will Ferrell. It hasn't been funny since those guys. Me, finally catches up with all my bills. My car. Yeah, when it rains, it pours. I've been there many times. My son got his report card today, and academically, he did well. But his teacher wrote a note specifying he needs to use kind words with friends. I asked him about it, and he said, my friends are dumb and they need to know. Okay, your kid understands friendship. Sometimes when your buddies are being idiots, you have to tell them. And if they're true friends, they tell you when you're being an idiot. That's friendship. That's what you need in your life. You need that. This guy, he understands friendship. I want this kid to be my kid's friends in the future. This is, this is perfect. There's going to be piss everywhere because I'm only pulling up from three. Wow, bathroom hammer, grow up. This is 2022. You're a year older now. If this is in your bathroom, that's actually kind of cool. 2009, spent hours assigning individual ringtones to everyone I know. 2021, sets phone to silent and lets everything go to voicemail. Uh, we have evolved, uh, but if you laughed and lost today, you go back to 2009. I do want to say too, um, does anyone not do this? Does anyone actually answer the phone, especially from numbers that are not in your phone? Let me know in the comments. Also, remember to head over to tylerz.com if you did not get what you wanted for Christmas. We have the hoodies over there now. Hats, t-shirts, coffee mugs, lots of good stuff. Let me know how you did down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help me get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed, and this is Education. Let's go, Brandon. I agree. Yeah. Idiots. <laughs>